Mac OS provides you with wonderful facilities for taking screenshots. Use Shift Command 3 to take a full screenshot so easily. Before your screenshot is converted into an image file, a floating thumbnail will be displayed in the corner of your desktop and you can view it before using it, share it, or delete it if you're not satisfied. But if you want, you can edit it by clicking on the pen. Now, you can sketch on it, add a polygon, have a text, or add your signature. Other features are rotate, crop, and add a description. But the most exciting thing is to use an iPhone to edit the image. After editing, you can now save it, which will save on the desktop by default. If your screenshot doesn't need to be edited, it will be saved on the desktop moments after the thumbnail is seen, or drag it to the right to save faster, or even drag it into Finder, Email, or your favorite app for final use. When you need to capture a part of the screen, press Shift Command 4 and select that part with the crosshair to have a picture of it. For more features, use the screenshot toolbar. To access it quickly, you can use combination key Shift Command 5. The screenshot app provides a panel of tools that let you easily take screenshots and screen recordings with options to control what you capture. To capture the entire screen, a portion of the screen, or capture menu bar, the dock, or a window, even if that window is under other windows. To copy a screenshot to paste it somewhere, press and hold the control key while you press the other keys. To make sure to catch our helpful videos, please subscribe. Now recording the screen. Use this key to record the entire screen and then stop from here. If you click on the floating thumbnail, you can trim it before saving it. The final video available to you will have excellent quality and a very high frame rate, making it unnecessary to use paid applications. Use this key to record part of the screen. But these are not all possibilities. There are other helpful features in the options section. You can choose where to save the screenshot or a screen record file or to which application to use it. Or have a countdown of 5 or 10 seconds before recording or a screenshot. If you need to have a voiceover on your video, you can do so by activating the microphone. Other options are show or hide floating thumbnail, remember last selection, and whether or not mouse pointer can be seen in the final screenshot. Ultimately, by enabling the show mouse click, this effect will appear in your screen records.